I love to get paid to learn. Rome wasn't built in a day. You hopefully not going to be in your career just for one year. You're hopefully going to be in your career for a number of years, and that gives you time to add more and more certifications. In this video, we're going to discuss the five top cloud certifications to get in 2021. Now, before we discuss the five certifications that I would recommend that you get in cloud, I wanna say the following about certifications in general. I've had this question about certifications in networking, certifications in security, certifications in cloud, et cetera, et cetera. Who's paying? That's the first question. Who's paying? If your employer is willing to pay for you to get a certification, then why not go and get that? I love to get paid to learn. So if someone is paying you to get a certification and you can take that knowledge and it helps you in your career, then get that. Now, I'm not saying go and get a certification where they lock you in by some crazy contract because some companies do that. But in my personal life, as an example, I had to sign a agreement to work for a company for a certain amount of time and they would pay for my studies. And that really helped me. Don't get locked into crazy contracts that keep you at a company that you hate for a long period of time. But if you enjoy the company that you're working at, if that company wants to pay to send you on certain types of training, so let's say a certain type of cloud provider or a certain networking vendor, and they're willing to send you on that training, they're willing to pay for your training, and they're not going to lock you into some crazy contract, then it makes sense to go and learn that technology. So, if someone is paying for you to learn a specific cloud vendor, then it may be worth looking at learning that cloud vendor. Because once you've learned one cloud vendor, it's not going to be as difficult to move to learning another cloud vendor. Same in networking and other technologies. If I learn Cisco, it's not going to be difficult to learn a Juniper or a Arista device because the technology is very similar. So who's paying? Another question you need to ask is, where's the most demand in the country that you're in? So in some countries, certain cloud providers may be better than other cloud providers. Look at the trends where you are, look at the demands where you are, and look who's paying. Are there specific customers of yours or potential customers that are using one cloud provider? That really helps you decide which cloud provider to learn. But if everything is equal, there are two main cloud providers that I'd recommend. And the first one is AWS. So go and learn Amazon Cloud Services or learn Azure. Those are the two main cloud providers in the market today. If I only had one choice, I would learn AWS and I'd get certifications in AWS. So the first certification that I'd recommend that you get is the AWS Cloud Practitioner. If you don't have any knowledge of the cloud, that's a great place to start. So if you've never really worked with cloud technologies, get the AWS Cloud Practitioner. That'll teach you a lot of terminology. One of the big problems in cloud is all the different types of terminology that they use. So get that certification and then go and get the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. That's the one that you're aiming to get. So if you already have a whole bunch of cloud knowledge, go and get that certification straight away. But if you're new to the cloud, then get your AWS Cloud Practitioner and then go and get the Solution Architect. And once you've got those two, you can decide sort of where you want to go. Do you want to become a Solutions Architect professional? Do you want to go into DevOps? But security is a very hot topic at the moment. I mean, you may decide to go and do advanced networking, but if I had to choose, I would go and do an AWS security speciality. So get your Cloud Practitioner, get your Solutions Architect Associate, then decide where you wanna go. But if you have to decide, get the security speciality. Those are the three AWS certifications or exams that I would suggest that you take initially if you're trying to get into cloud. But a lot of companies are like Azure. Azure is growing dramatically. So go and get the AZ or AZ for my American friends, 900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, and then the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate, which is the AZ-104 exam. And then look at getting the AZ-500, Microsoft Azure Security Technologies exam. Okay, so I've listed six here, but that's because we wanna talk about which path you're gonna take. If you go AWS, get the Cloud Practitioner, Solutions Architect, 
and then the security speciality. If you're going down the Azure path, get the AZ900, Azure Fundamentals, then get the AZ104, Azure Administrator Associate, and then get the AZ500, Azure Security Specialist. So again, if you're starting on your cloud journey in 2021, decide, are you gonna go AWS or Azure initially? If in doubt, I would suggest AWS. But have a look because you may be working with Microsoft technologies. You may prefer the Microsoft way of doing things. So then Azure may be a good path. Both of those paths are good. And again, some advice, don't lock yourself into one thing. A lot of people ask me, David, is it this or this? And I always say, get both. Start with one, see how you do, and then try and get the next one. You hopefully not gonna be in your career just for one year. You're hopefully gonna be in your career for a number of years, and that gives you time to add more and more certifications to the list of certifications that you have. So don't think that I went from CCNA to CCIE in six months. That didn't happen. It's a process and life often gets in the way. If you get married, if you have a baby, if you have some kind of personal issues, it's going to affect how quickly you can get certifications. Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't think that you can just get all the certifications like that. Give yourself time. Remember that you're going to be building on knowledge that you acquire over time. So you don't have to get all the certifications today, you could get them over a period of time. But here's a roadmap, either go AWS or Azure if in doubt. Once again, if someone is paying you to get a Oracle cloud certification, then why not? If they're paying and they don't lock you into some crazy contract, then it's well worth going and getting that knowledge. Who's paying? So I'm hoping that helps you decide which cloud certifications to get in 2021. If you're interested, I've put links below to a Udemy course that Anthony Sequeira has created for the AWS Solutions Architect. A thousand people will get that course for free. Please don't use the free link if you can afford $10 to buy the course. I've put two links below this video, so a thousand people will get the course for free. And then I've put another link where you can buy the course for $10. So if you can afford to buy the course, then please buy it to support Anthony. Or if you can't afford it, use the link below to get to the course for free. I'm David Bombal, wanna wish you all the very best. 